In the quiet town of Cedar Creek, Halloween was the most exciting time of the year. Kids dressed up in fun costumes, pumpkins glowed on porches, and the streets were filled with laughter. But this year, the town had a special message to share, one of gratitude, respect, and caring for the world around them. Seven-year-old Lucy was ready for a night of trick-or-treating. She had the perfect costume, a butterfly with glittery wings that sparkled in the moonlight. But before she left the house, her mom reminded her, Lucy, remember the rules. Stick with your friends, keep the neighborhood clean, and always be respectful. Lucy nodded, but was so excited she didn't think much about it. She ran out the door, eager to meet her friends, Ben and Emma, who were waiting for her at the end of the street. They were heading to the park, where all the kids were gathering for the Halloween parade. As they walked, the friends giggled and chattered about their costumes and all the candy they hoped to collect. But along the way, they noticed something strange. Candy wrappers were scattered on the sidewalks, soda cans were lying in the grass, and someone had even left a smashed pumpkin on the road. Who would do that? Ben asked, frowning. That's not right. It makes the whole town look messy, said Emma. And it's bad for the animals, too. Lucy felt a pang of guilt. Earlier, she had tossed a candy wrapper without thinking. She realized how much nicer Cedar Creek looked when everyone took care of it, and how careless it was to litter. The friends decided to do something about it. They each picked up some of the trash they saw along the way and put it in the nearby recycling bin. As they cleaned, other kids noticed and joined in, and soon the streets looked clean again. At the park, the Halloween parade was in full swing. Lights twinkled in the trees, and pumpkins carved with friendly faces lit up the pathways. But just as the parade was about to start, Lucy saw something that made her heart race. A little boy was wandering too close to the dark to the dark woods at the edge of the park, alone. Lucy remembered her mom's words about staying with friends and being aware of her surroundings. She quickly ran over to the boy, called out, Hey, wait! Don't go there by yourself. It's not safe. The boy, startled, turned around. He looked up at Lucy with wide eyes. I was just curious, he said, but I don't want to get lost. Lucy smiled gently. Let's stay with everyone else. The woods can be scary, and your parents will worry if they can't find you. The boy nodded, grateful for Lucy's help. They both returned to the parade where the music was playing and people were laughing. At the end of the night, Lucy felt something she hadn't expected. It wasn't the excitement of collecting candy or the thrill of wearing her costume. It was gratitude. She was thankful for her friends, for the clean and beautiful town, and for the reminders to be aware of her surroundings. On the way home, Lucy and her friends talked about how much they had learned. I didn't realize how important it was to keep our town clean, Emma said. It makes everything better for everyone. And we need to be careful where we go, Ben added. It's easy to get lost when you don't pay attention. Lucy thought for a moment and said, I think Halloween isn't just about having fun. It's about being grateful for what we have, respecting the people around us, and taking care of our town. We should do this every day, not just on Halloween. As they walked down the street, Lucy looked at the glowing pumpkins and the clear sidewalks and felt proud of their little adventure. This Halloween... They hadn't just gathered treats. They had learned a lesson that would stay with them all year long. The End <laughs>